Hey guys, what is up? I am Devil Driven. I'm still on my couch, and I'm still hanging with Wasubi. <laughs> How are we doing today, sir? Uh, you bet, man. Great as always. I mean, just some couch gaming, you know? Yeah, jamming the uh, kind of updated version with uh, the Yaven. Or, uh, man, I keep calling him Yaven. Or her Yaven. Toraville. Um, yeah. Since Swarm is uh, around and about. Mm -hmm. Um. You yeah, can I mean, switch it out if you want. What was it instead? It was uh, a rebuke um, comes out and instead of and the Gaten. Yeah, yeah. And then you can upgrade like one of the fours to five. Yeah, but yeah, I think she does really well in the meta. Obviously, Skelly Gay usually has uh, their Ceres. Then in the mirror, great against Dead Eye, great against Gift, good against the Araka Swarm that has been popping up recently. And it's guaranteed too, like the the gate and pings are random, so I mean like if you need to clear a row it's pretty nice. I mean nice. At, at the same time the, the gate and kinda complements the movement package with the with the sentries and stuff. But he he can also get a bit clunky, right? Yeah. Uh, like sometimes your back row is then too full for the Gezra and whatnot. I mean, Turville is, is just a decent value card, yeah. Yeah, it usually almost always plays for over the the eight provisions, so... Yeah, even if you have to play her front row, it's it's going to be like a nine at least, so... Yeah. That's pretty decent. She's like a bootleg Hemdall. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, that's, that's a nice comparison. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it is, yeah. Um, and I, I like, it's got some nice tech choices too, you know, you got the CRN for a lock for, uh, Keldar or whatever, or the, your own, the other Gezers if you're in the mirror. Um, movement is also nice against, like, the Kelly and stuff, uh, kind of the upside of the elves, because if you're playing Gift, uh, you're gonna struggle with... Uh, monsters a bit, whereas uh, this this deck does great into both Keltulas and the AQ yeah. Swarm. So. And you have that yeah. clutch Purify with the Sapper if you need it on that Defender, yeah. which yeah, is I mean, always like, nice. Nilfgaard is just annoying, right? I, I, I think you can't really afford to play without Sappers in this meta. Yeah, and if you want to, you could switch the Skull for a Lamp and you got that Matron, but it, it's kind of odd because you kind of want to play the Matron in the back row. You know, but yeah, it's right. Yeah, it's, besides, like, school allows you to protect the sentry or the sword master if you want to, so right, yeah. But I mean, obviously, with this deck, it, it like when it draws the nuts, it's like nearly unbeatable when you get to execute your game plan, right? Yeah, but that, that's a big if, exactly. Like, you need to you have a limited amount of goals, uh, so if you if you miss your near mancy and you miss. These Gezra. top end goals, the, the feint that's the Vernosil, the Gezra, it's really gonna. Yeah, because these are the home you runs. Let's just say, yeah. Yeah, I mean the heat wave's nice, but I mean like in the swarm matchup, it plays for like what max we had was eight. <laughs> yeah, it's like it doesn't do much. To, yeah. Yeah, it's not killing an engine. It's just taking out an eight point body or something. So. I mean, like at the same time, it's kind of sad because if, in this meta, if you're playing non devotion, it's such an important tech choice, right? Oh, for sure, for sure. Like, and this deck doesn't necessarily like for points anyway. Like it, it, it has a lot of tempo, so you don't really mind. Yeah. If it's be a bit worse sometime. Another thing, I suppose, like the movement package can can get a bit clunky, right? Like, you need to draw multiple pieces of these bronzes for them to work together, and that's sometimes problematic, weird. right? Yeah, especially it gets weird if, sometimes. Yeah, especially if your opponent has like control tools to shut like one or, one or two of them down, and then it's uh, yeah. Yeah. But I mean. Every deck has has its upsides and downsides, right? For sure, for sure. Especially when you're going with, like you said, those mini synergies that you kind of... They're not really mini synergies, but I mean, like, you need this to work for this, or this to work for this, and if you don't have one yeah. or the other, it, it kind of works, but it's not to the maximum, you know? I mean, like, the idea is to basically win round one with this deck, right? With the movement engines and the... Uh, Sierra and Heatwave to Ruvel if you need. Even even slam the Gezra. Like right. as long as your opponent cannot bleed you out of your scenario and your elves, 
Or if you can bleed your opponent with your scenario or your elves, then you're in a pretty good position, right? Yeah, for sure. And I mean, like, if you if you end up losing round one and then defending the bleed can be awkward, like, because like, do you play the feindas? Do you mulligan the feindas? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Fortunately, you have some nice catch-up cards with Vernaciel. You know what I mean? But yeah, um, Vernaciel's crazy. Yeah, but. The um, Else. Yeah, but here's a couple games, guys. Uh, like always, Vesuvi, man. Thank you so much, man, for always hanging out, dude. We appreciate yeah, you. Uh, like, you know I love these point slam decks. Especially, <laughs> yeah, especially sure. if they're in the hit or miss nature, right? Right, right. Uh, this is my jam. Like, the elves and the lippy. Like, when it works out, it feels great, and you're happy. When it doesn't, you're like, ah, whatever. I'm like, yeah. man, the next game? <laughs> yeah. That's just gameplay that I love. Escape. F four, huh? Yeah, but, you uh, know. <laughs> <laughs> but um, like always, guys, thank you so much for watching, man. I appreciate you so much. A um, couple games, we'll see you at the end. Ooh, all right. The mirror, and we're on you the mirror. The Baloo, the wall. We have the heat wave. Squirrel doesn't really do anything in this matchup, well, right? I mean, it's really good if you hit the Oniromancy. This is true. Uh, I guess Sappers don't do much. Okay. All right. Officer, yeah, Officer is a bit iffy. Well, we do have some golds. No matrons, unfortunately. Bowman combined with like a uh, Swordmaster is like really good removal. Ah, uh, maybe it's just a squirrel, yeah. Okay. So, do we protect it? Nah, I don't think so. We want to protect either the Witcher or yeah, the. Yeah, I, I think it's. Uh, school the Sentry, yeah. Take they don't, I guess they really don't have. That mid range removal, you know. Ah. Um, yeah, he's, he's doing this, uh, which is understandable. I think we just, yeah, ping and then play the Bowman. We don't. Oh, yeah, we do have the Bowman. Yep. Next turn, we can ping again. If he plays like a matron. I guess we just go for Catwitcher, try to hit it. Yeah, I don't think he can really protect this in a meaningful way. Ah, maybe like an officer, right? But that's about it. It's slow though. That's... But I, I guess he's on red, so he can do what he wants. Yeah. I mean... Oh, man, we kicked the squirrel, like too. Like, every time you get punished. Oh, that's insane. He's so... This is, like, so greedy. Oh, God. So bad if it doesn't work out, right? So we All go right. for the 50-50, huh? Mm-hmm. Do we TA yeah. this? No. No. Don't think so. Come on, sir. <laughs> Do your job. Nope. Oh! Ah, there we get go. sniped. Oh, we should have kept the squirrel, man. But, like, this on Neuromancy is so bad. Like, you can never go for this. If, if you actually care about winning the game and whatnot. Are you fucking I guess he just me? doesn't care. So now we drop our own boy. Yeah, play the boy. TEA? Mmm... I it. guess he could have like a rebuke. I mean, honestly, you can probably just TA the Swordmaster because. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like this better. Like, we don't really care about this sentry, honestly. Like, first of all, we have another one, and then, like. Yeah, I think this is better. Wasting your own Neuromancy like that, I just can't understand. Alright. I guess we're playing another one then? Yeah, sure. 
Do we try to like hit the matron or the? What could we hit here? I guess I guess the matron makes the most sense to hit. Yeah, because we can hit her with the thingy now, right? Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's that's good. We didn't, but. Or <laughs> He passes, we get ground okay. control, which is nice. Order advantage. It's very good. Yeah, now we just get to bleed with the feign death. Uh, should be, I mean, provided that we actually draw it. Right, <laughs> yeah, holy cow. Dude, I, it's, uh, just, it's, it's so it's bad. With, and there it is, okay. okay there it is. Ah, but like, we should have really... Ah, no! <laughs> the squirrel is back to mock us for our bad decision. <laughs> right. Okay. That's good. Um, I mean, Dragoon is not really... Ah, nah, I, I, I don't think so. We already have the CR on anyway. Ooh. Ah, okay. Um, so what did we... We ended up missing the Dora Torubial. Spot, and Gezzers. Yeah. That's pretty big, actually. Because if we don't 2 all here... How do we 2-0 -oh with this? Without well, Gezerus? I mean, like... This is pretty good. So we're just going... Would... We're going scenario. Yeah, I mean, if you, yeah, if you trade it for a heat wave, it's pretty good already. Still back row? Think, I mean... Because he might play his Gezerus. Right. Yeah. But like, does the round ever go that far? I, I don't think it actually does really, but... Yeah. Makes sense, I guess. He's just gonna heat wave it. No. Uh, well, I guess we just trade heat wave then. He's gonna neuromancy the heat wave, right? But we still have the order advantage on these trades, which is very nice. Yeah. Yep. On the hero heat wave. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, then we just. Interesting. I actually wonder if we were supposed to trade the heat waves. Ah, no, it's still good, it's still good. Um, I think you just go Verno, right? Like Verno leader charge in the back, and then the Elrin jumps out, and then we can look to Yavin, Ice and Grim. Should be really strong. Like we're basically one turn ahead here, right? Right. That's the uh, that's the idea. Uh, so he has to do the same thing. Pretty much. In, in order to keep yeah. up. Just gonna, we're just gonna mirror our plays. But if he missed Yavin or Isengrim, he's in a lot of trouble, basically. Yeah, now we can nuke the engine with the... with the Yavin. Yeah. I feel Suck. Yup. But and he can't... Seven. Yeah, he can't kill ours. He has to lock it, yeah. which is super bad. Yeah, I mean, we also have the Sapper. Just place Cat Witcher, sure. Kind of want to keep the lock for the Gezra, I suppose. Do uh, we still Isengrim? Uh, you could play your own Cat Witcher now. But... Yeah, I, I guess I guess this is better. Yeah, I work. So the question is, does he have uh, his own Yavin Isengrim, right? Like, because sure, like we missed Gezra, but other than that, we have like all of these cards, all of these payoff cards. Okay, just playing engines. Right. Can go Isengrim, I suppose. Uh, could think about using a leader charge but yeah maybe one one leader charge and 
in the back, right? Yeah. Uh, if he has Taru, we will end Gezra. This could backfire. But yeah. Cheat. <laughs> yeah. Cheat, cheat, cheat. I mean, I... I to me, it looks like he missed uh, his pair of cards, honestly. Like, uh, we didn't see the Yavin. He has to play Gezra's here to keep... Oh, Squirrel. That's okay. super greedy. There's no Gezra. I mean, I think we just pass here now. How does he do these points? Oh, wow. Okay, so it actually ended up working out because... Yeah, he just, he just missed his... Uh, Pay of cards there. Okay, so he does have the Ice and Grim. No mercy! But uh, then he also needs to play to something else. Wait, what, what is he? Huh? Why and use the leader the... charge if you're not gonna get there? Yeah, he also should have used it before, right? Just to get the extra point. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Yeah. Looks like we were the. Ah, but like the squirrel, man. The squirrel's gonna haunt me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Every every time you take the mo and then you see your opponent go for like the greediest oniromancy ever, just loses the game on the spot to the squirrel, right? Yeah, four point. Well, five point oniromancy. Yeah. yeah. Next time we'll keep it. <laughs> <laughs> Next time on ladder leverage. Oh, Patricidal. Man. Yeah, it's actually better into Elves with like the Hemdal and such. But... Ah, I see some engines in the hand, that's good. Uh, maybe just Officer? Like the movement is good. Ooh, go. okay, okay, okay. I like what I see. Yeah, because <laughs> they have boats. Yep. Oh, we we have a very nice portion of the movement package, right? So that's good. Uh, definitely want to move the bolt. Could just move this as well. Yeah, especially if it's T8. I mean, we just heat wave it. We don't get a better heat wave in this matchup. But only on the Arniel himself, right? Right. Which we won't have last save. He. Uh, if the hunter lives, basically. So then we get squirrel value if he goes for the... Beagle. Mm -hmm. So we just play the bowman, huh? Uh, or do we go sentry? I, I like the bowman, yeah, because... He gets if he less doesn't value use on damage, it. Just kill it with a cat witcher. Pretty nice. Like, you don't want to play your engines into the two damage, right? Like, it just, it just doesn't really... Yeah... Perfect. Cadwitcher is such a good card, man. Oh, just... I love it. Catnip for breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> Lunch and dinner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was huge. I played for... Basically, Double. seven. Yeah, it's really good. I mean, it can get gutting slashed now, but... Yeah. We just, just play another one, right? Just go again. <laughs> yeah. This guy this guy I, thinks the right. Cadwitcher train I, I will understand. ever end, but it never does. Yeah, he's he's actually in a, t in a, a lot he's in a worse spot than it looks, right? Because Wait, he plays two. Really? You like okay. Well, that's Vabjorn wasted. Yeah. Let's go Swordman now. Swordmaster, sorry. Yeah. He passes? Does he pass? Yeah. And then we just banish the uh, Raider, I think. Make his Herald worse. Oh. Ah, the a bear savage. Thing. What a savage. Alright. Uh, the sequencing shouldn't really matter here, right? Uh, I guess it's... We could play the matron up top. Oh, it messes it up. Huh? I always think you can do that, but you can't. Play the matron yeah, up here and then move it. But it... 
think I just go ping and then uh, play the sentry. Fine. Yeah. I mean, like he—that's the problem. He—he—he he, he can't really pass. Like the bleed is way too scary. Yeah. Just slams the kaduch. As expected. He, has, he wants to win the round. No, he set, sets up the beagle on the... Oh, he just kills this instead. Interesting. So can we do yeah. these? Oh, I guess we're an hero no matter what, huh? Yeah, we just go matron. And, uh, yeah. So he gets the heal for... F three. Yep. What? Us. Okay. I'm gonna just banish, right? Yeah. And get rid of the... Raider. Raiders, and then... Now he's gonna get bled to death. Like, I'm not sure what he's expecting to happen, but... <laughs> we come nothing into this round. Literally nothing. He gets that carryover scenario. Yeah! <laughs> 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 Not really, but I, well, I guess it's on that row. But then he has to stack on Gezer's row, anyways. Look, 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 look. Devil driven. The nuts, the nuts have arrived. Yeah. Finish. Uh, I mean, do we want this dragoon? Not really. Not really. It's not as good anymore, and can't move the boat. Don't really want the matron either. It's kind of. So we're just going scenario. Oh yeah, definitely. Slime it, boy. Missed the uh, Yaven, but that's fine. Can't have it all. I think we have enough. <laughs> uh, he gets the Marauder, I guess. Yeah, he, he has War of Clans, but... Wow, that's like so slow and disrespectful. And that's also our officer later for the... The so the question is, do we ever want to... Nah, we don't want to front draw over no seal because we have the gate on as well, right? We just go back row over no for now. Chill. Yeah, wholesome full row of goodies. So now he has the leader. Oh. Yeah, I mean, pretty much. Skilliga yeah. cloggers. <laughs> <laughs> Get clogged, man. Yeah. Herkia. Okay, okay. Actual Herkia friend. And he doesn't I use guess. the charge. I guess that's our uh, officer target then. Right. It's better to bolt. At least one point better. Yeah. Just a new kid with a thing. Jumps front. That's a bit troll, but sure. Yeah, he I, still, I mean, he still has a chance to go leader and block the row, but I guess he's a bit ah the Turk. All right, that's a useless Turk. We're gonna trade up so hard with this Gaten on this two, four, six, seven. I guess we could also commit a leader charge. I like one leader charge in the back, just to apply the more pressure. And like, depending on what he does, we can choose to go with Ice no Grim. Because, I mean, like, it's a lot of points, right? No, yeah, it's huge. Lord. Like, we're up 31, it's kind of insane. He has to kill this Gezra now. Uh, okay. Leader for some reason, interesting. So he doesn't have Skjordle? No Skjordle, no Beagle? He has oh, the Luba. Madman, it. so he trades way down. Yeah. Well, not really. Well, yeah, because that's an 8 right there. Yeah, we go Ice and Grim front row, I think. Keep the leader for uh, Mr. Yavin. Yeah, I think this is fine. Um, I don't think he does the points. I mean, where does he well, get them from? He needs Hemdal, and he needs, like, a Morkark, and I wonder if that's enough, actually. Uh, probably not right. Mm -mm. Two, four, six, eight. Oh, okay, he's a herald. Yeah, and I mean, if you look at our deck, we we have guaranteed on Neuromancy into Yaven, 
with like two leader charges. We, we still have decent top decks, right? Like that's the problem. Uh, Skellige can't really give elves around control in this matchup. It's way too scary. Yeah. Yeah, because I mean, like the Herald doesn't do anything in round two, and too slow. Way yeah, I mean, slow. if he has like Hamdal, is it any different? Not really. We still get there. Mm -mm. We, we we beat Hamdal Mark as well, I think. So. Yeah. Yeah. Subi, thanks for hanging out, brother. We appreciate you, sir. Um, I'd love to see some final action, man. <laughs> Towards the end, huh? <laughs> yeah. I, I like I like the movement package. I like the little bit of changes too with the uh, the Yaven or uh, 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 was there's it? There's a tour. Oh, yeah. That's what I meant. Tour reveal. It's just nice in the meta. Yeah, especially with the the swarm stuff going on. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, that's the video for today, guys. Like always, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time.